I always thought I knew about hospice, but it was in 1998 when a tragic personal experience led me right into the arms of Hospice by the Bay. My late husband John was 62 at the time and in what we all considered robust health. I think for me the most important thing was having somebody else take care of the details. I found that Hospice by the Bay took care of the hospital equipment and the medication and various other things that we needed and they were just a phone call away. I have an overwhelming feel of gratitude to Hospice by the Bay for what they did for Vivian and me. I would tell somebody who was in a time of need to call hospice as soon as they think about it and not wait. The quality of life is improved so greatly by having hospice care. It just moves me to talk about the care that the home health aide gave my mother that week. She came here every day and it was really uh, above and beyond the call of duty. Hospice was on call for me whenever I needed them and I sometimes needed them at four in the morning. There was anger, there was clearly anger. There was terrible grief and a lot of fear for what's going to happen, what do we do if? But the social worker came in and addressed every single one of those issues. I could not have done it any way without hospice's help. But the fact that hospice permitted me to do it enabled me to do it as the greatest blessing, the greatest gift I could ever receive and give to my wife. She took care of me for 52 years, and I got to take care of her for two and a half months, and I did. And to me, hospice is the community. It takes a village, and hospice becomes your village. I would want anyone who is seeking hospice by the Bay services to be assured that they would be receiving the most well-managed professional care that is possible. What Hospice by the Bay says they will deliver, they will deliver. They're the greatest, period.